Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you the pixel stretch effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you don't have Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe is currently having a promotion where you can get over 60% off all Adobe applications. Make sure to check the link in the description for that. And yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And with that being said, let's get straight into it. So right here I have a video and the first thing we want to do is you want to duplicate the video layer. And we're going to treat the duplicated video layer as a sort of overlay. So you want to hold alt and drag up in order to duplicate. I think that's the easiest way. And now we're going to only be working with the top layer here. Next, you want to go to effects and you want to search up directional blur under video effects, blur and sharpen and directional blur. You want to drag it onto the top layer. Next, increase the blur length all the way. And if you want this effect to go up and down, you would just keep the direction as is. If you want it to go side to side, you can do 90 degrees, but I'm going to keep it like this. So right here, you can see that this effect is sort of visible, but it's very faded out. So what we're going to do is we're going to color grade it and sort of add in contrast and different colors so that it pops out a little bit more. So you want to go to window, Lumetri color, and you want to uh, play with these things. So the first thing you want to do is increase contrast, increase highlights, decrease shadows, increase whites, and decrease blacks. So basically just make it brighter in some areas and make it darker in other areas. And you can see the before and after it pops out way more. Um, you might also want to change the temperature and tint if you want to add different colors and also contrast within the colors as well. You don't want just contrast within light, um, but also color. So you can increase the temperature maybe, maybe add some purple in there. And I'm going to also sharpen it because it is faded. And I'm also going to increase the vibrance and saturation to make it pop a little more. And finally, we're going to uh, play with the curves. I'm going to make three dots and I'm just going to play around. Usually I start with an S curve like this, but uh, you can see what works. So you can see what makes it pop a little more. So I'm going to do some weird shape like this. And now I'm going to render this out so that you guys can see how it looks like. So right here, the video just uh, finished rendering and you can see it looks pretty nice. The only thing is maybe you don't want this overlay to be like on top of the entire video, maybe you just want like the bottom half. For example, this might be helpful if like you want to show her face and you want it to be visible. Um, what you could do is you can right click and nest this layer. And then you can go and search up crop. And basically what this will do is you're going to be able to crop like the top half or the bottom half or, or one side of the video or the other side of the video so that this overlay only shows on certain parts of this video. So I'm going to just cut off the top portion of this video so that her face is a little bit more visible and it'll just show at the bottom. So we can just increase the top. You can see how this looks like. This actually looks cool. You can probably use this like as a transition. I'm going to cut off like one, like the top third of the video. And we're going to use this edge feather so that this hard edge disappears. So there you go. So this is the final product and I think it turned out amazing. And this effect is very simple. It's very much customizable too, because you can change like the blur length, the direction, the colors, like using color grading, how strong it is, all that sort of stuff very easily. And this requires no like extra plugins or paid plugins or anything like that. And yeah, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you want to check out my Discord channel, it'll be in the pinned comment below. And yeah, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.